Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful. Where we've got a thing that's weird and wonderful and it walks, so... Uh, this is the unnamed Spider Walker uh, by Tolrath and... Well, it does. It technically does have a name because it's called the unnamed Spider Walker. And it definitely walks and it walks quite quickly, so... This was the answer to a request I've been putting out on the internet uh, quite a little bit uh, for a clampy foot walker that moves somewhat quickly because uh, that's hard to do with clampy foot walkers and lo and behold here we have a clampy foot walker that well it shimmies along quite fast uh, so Tolroth is a cool person and the reason they're a cool person is because this was made uh, because somebody wanted to see some something and that someone was not me uh, before anyone asked, uh, you've got your feet stuck in the ground, don't do that. Alright, so, reading from the workshop page, and this is, um, this tickles me pink. Uh, quote, I built this because someone in Borderwises, that's me, uh, stream said they wanted to see a walker that was hanging from its legs instead of mounted on top of them. So I went with something akin to the spider eye walker robots from Johnny Quest. Well, by gum, I don't know what Johnny Quest is, but this is a lovely thing to do, I feel. So... Yeah, like, uh, by the way, I'm doing... Well, you've probably noticed, if you're a regular channel viewer, and if, you're, and if you haven't, that's okay. Um, I'm doing a Walker-only playthrough of Ashes of the Empire right now. There, I can tick off that uh, uh, marketing thing for the day. Um, and I really want to use Clampy Foot Walkers, uh, but that's really difficult uh, to summon it simply. And Tolroth was kind enough to point me towards this thing... Uh, because this is a clampy foot walker uh, which moves quite quickly and I do believe it's mostly the feet making it move fast. It does have a thruster on the back, but according to uh, the workshop description that's actually mostly for pitch control, um, which I can believe. Uh, I guess if you remove those things the thing will pitch up. Actually, let's test that. What happens if we do this? And you go shuffle. I mean, still moves quite nicely, like, if it has pitching trouble uh, without those, then, ah, it is in fact, it is moving a little bit slower, Flipping by the looks of it. Go that way, please. We Can't really tell the difference, it's uh, still scuttling along at roughly 40, wow, it edged up to 50 meters per second. And it's like, A-OK, -okay, really, so let's uh, put those back on. And now it's going slightly faster. So, uh, what makes this weird? Well, you've probably already noticed uh, all the things that make it weird. You could probably list that yourself. But, lots of legs. Uh, the legs actually do clip through each other. I know some people might not like that. Uh, but, um, presumably, that's how to get these damn things to work properly. Multiple spin blocks. Uh, the fact that this thing goes over 50 meters per second while relying mainly on crampy feet. Because I really don't think that those thrusters would be able to do the job on their own. And the underslung turret, which is a rather unique and amazing thing. Uh, particle cannons. Uh, these are thumpy particle cannons by the looks of it. And it's, wow, it's actually mounted sideways, which is pretty groovy. So, it is set to impact. Um, let's see here. What are we looking at? Let's see here. Uh, I am not one to uh, really talk about uh, the efficiency of uh, Particle Cannon Tetris, but this seems pretty good to me. It's got three of them, and they go bang. It's got a little shield projector there, which is set to strength. Well, it's not set to strength anything, really, so let's uh, spawn in something to see how strong it is. Uh, it's set to strength 10, just to protect the Particle Cannons, by the looks of it. So this thing uh, scuttles along and fires at that underslung pack, and this thing, I don't feel this, uh, I don't feel this craft is really, really meant to be a super meta combat thing, um, because the legs are pretty much entirely unprotected, and it's got exposed AI components, like right up here. Um, EMP does kill this thing dead. Mainly it's just a... Uh, I guess it's just a show off like decent breadboard for clampy feet, which is always appreciated. I still can't understand it, um, but um, you know, like somebody who might be able to understand it will understand it. Well done, Borderwise. You really explained that well. So let's get rid of the Taipan for a second, and let's uh, have you stop walking. And um, by the way, I really appreciate the little uh, touch right here. 
uh, little spider thing reference. This is a Dark Souls reference, by the way. Uh, for an NPC, this is, I believe, much loved by the community. Um, uh, so this is the unnamed Spider Walker, but you could easily call this thing the Daughter of Chaos, or Fair Lady, after, well, the lady in the picture right here. Who is a very sweet spider lady who is fused with a wall, and you can give her gifts, and she, that makes her happy. Um, what was it all about? Oh yeah, breadboard. So, breadboard with bread notes. So, I still can't understand this damn thing at all. Um... I guess if you zoom in enough, it's easier. So timing variables for angles, pistons, pistons are slower, so activate a bit earlier. So uh, console input of blip, and over here activates between blah blah blah. Um, I highly encourage uh, anybody watching this to go download this on the workshop. And oh, thank goodness that this is labeled. Um, uh, well, anyway, just you should probably go look at it for yourself if you really want to get into the bread because. I suck at bread, I can only do very basic bread, and I've forgotten how to do that. I need to go look at the prefabs I made ages ago in order to understand anything. Um, but yeah, so this is like labeled bread, and if you've been having trouble with clampy walkers, uh, and you understand bread better than me, which might not be difficult because I barely understand it all, this is gonna be mana from heaven for you. And the fact that this thing still uses uh, thrusters a little bit, just for uh, yaw and pitch and all that jazz. The wonderful thing there is that it makes me feel better about uh, using thrusters on my own walkers. Because, just for comparison, this thing moves due to its feet. Uh, my uh, clampy foot walkers are not nearly as good. In fact, they, like my walkers were, uh, rely entirely on jets. So, where is it? Where did I put it? Here in land vehicles... And let's spawn in. No, that's not the one. That's just walkers only. So this thing, which has been getting a lot of work in the campaign, uh, it has thrusters, and I refuse to apologize uh, because having the thing walk only due to its legs is very difficult. So yeah, I feel better about that now. If even like this bread wizardry requires a thruster or two or several around then, like, you don't have to feel bad about using thrusters on your walker. Because walkers are inherently unstable. And if you Google a uh, robot uh, walking drone called Leonardo, you'll see that people are even doing it in real life. So, um, I feel I feel good. I feel good. Na -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. I feel good. That's pretty much all there is to say about... Um, Please don't lock onto a weird thing. Ah, somebody texted me. That means the video is probably over. Okay, that might actually be kind of dangerous for us. What is this thing made of? It's made of metal. It'll be fine. She'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. You missed. But anyway, that is the unnamed Spider Walker by Tolroth. A lovely little thing. If you are, if you know how to bread or know something about bread, and. Uh, you want to make a walker this is a pretty decent example of it i think uh you could do much worse and also it's just i don't know the thought behind this is just lovely it goes walk 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 so anyway uh thank you all so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you want to see more videos like this support me on patreon or youtube membership if you like it really i think we might be ai dead no we're not ai dead but the breadboard's dead oh no it's almost like this thing is not designed for this. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And thank you, Tolrath, uh, for making uh, this unnamed Spider Walker and putting it up on the workshop for us all to enjoy. And I will see you all next time in From the Depths. Weird and wonderful. The fair lady says hi. Farewell.